Now what I'm going to do this time is open up um, our thermal infrared image. So the same way we did at the beginning of the practical, we go to File and Open Image Window. Um, and this time I'm going to select the TIR for thermal infrared and go open on that. Now as that appears in our available bands list, this is like our table of contents, you'll see we've got the name of our file here, so TM for Thematic Mapper, Darwin 171009, 17th of October 2009, and TIR for Thermal Infrared. Um, now the band name is listed at band 6, and it's a Thematic Mapper image, and it's containing information relating to calibrated kelvins. Okay, calibrated meaning that this is um, the values are, have been calibrated to at sensor reflectance, which we we'll go through later in class. Um, they haven't been corrected for the atmosphere, but the values in each individual pixel will give you a temperature in degrees Kelvin. And the difference between Kelvin and Celsius is 273. So to convert from a degrees Kelvin to, to, to a degrees Celsius, you just subtract 273 and that will give you a pixel value um, of degrees Celsius at the sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and load this into display number two. Minimize this and fit this on our screen here. Now, so again, we go back to the, the grayscale image, which also, if you look at our available bands list, you will see that on the left hand side of the image name it's just a small grey icon indicating that it's a single band grayscale image um, as opposed to the multiband raster that's indicated by this little icon to the left hand side of the multiband image there. But again I can move in and around my image and I still have that geographic link on that I set up before. Um, so if I'm to go in and look at individual features, I can see a dam, for example, here. Um, and the way you look at the thermal image is that warm features are bright or white and cooler features are dark. Okay, so this image was acquired around about 10 o'clock in the morning where the land has had a chance to heat up um, after, after sunrise, whereas the water body is relatively cool compared to the land. So again, we move around the different features and have a look at different things. Um, there's a couple of different things that you'll notice. There's certainly a lot more detail available in the colour image. And we'll discuss that much later in the semester as well as to why that actually occurs. But it's, it's, relevant, it's, it's relevant to the amount of energy that is in the thermal wavelength um, as it's acquired by the sensor.